Travis Wayne Goodzell. So the Mormon spiritual witness bubble is in conflict. As I get more popular with whatever's going on right now, I'll take it. I don't understand it, but I'll take it. <clears throat> more Mormons are finding my videos and they're confused. No duh. So there's a big difference between a spiritual witness and actually reading the words in the scriptures. Because I've gone over this before. The spiritual witness is a misinterpretation of Moroni chapter 10 verses 3 through 5. Read, ponder, pray, spirit gives you enough information, you now know, and you don't have to do any study or research to produce the results. It's just so stupid how people can get fooled into what should have been taught to all of us. It was for me. I was number one in my class in English and in English comprehension. So much so that I was smarter than my teachers as I was correcting them. For like example, colors are never nouns. They're always adjectives. Because color is always the understood noun when you use a color. The sky is blue. Is blue a noun? No. It's an adjective for color. The sky is a blue color. <clears throat> and so, I don't know, languages, I guess, is just second nature to me. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe you failed English and English comprehension. But uh, Wendy Foster, 5579, I don't understand why they're doing this at Wendy Foster, 5579. They've even got it for me, and it just, it's just stupid. What are you doing, YouTube? Cut it out. Trying to be like Twitter. But uh, she says two hours ago to the video, LDS Church to release revised second vision at April 2023 Bicentennial General Conference. It's conference time. I purposely worded it so that it would attract attention of those who are searching for general conference that's coming up. This is why I am so popular during conference times. And why previously the Mormon YouTube employee would lie to shut down my channel. To keep me from telling Mormons the truth about the church. And uh... And so it's only at 150 video views in the one day versus the over 600 for the LDS Church to announce millennial name change at April 2023 General Conference. And if you do not know Mormonism, you do not understand the titles because this puts pressure on the prophets by enlightening Mormons. This is the bicentennial year of the second vision. The Joseph Smith Papers corrects the errors and blatant tampering by Willard Richards in that visionary account. And so the church keeps lying to us about the second vision, about all the visions. And the Joseph Smith Papers now presents the church prophets with a conundrum. Do they acknowledge that the Joseph Smith papers are what they say on the home page that it's the authoritative source? Or do they ignore it and continue the lie and hope Mormons don't go to the Joseph Smith papers and know how to read and comprehend what they read? And so for Wendy, she's saying, I don't know where you get this stuff. Seriously? 
I'm sure she's a Mormon. That's why she's searching for this and found it. Because other people don't search for the church. Only Mormons do. And she says it's very odd. And so, yes, my comment back to her, because I allowed this comment, hoping that she would realize what is being done to her by the church. They've lied to her. They've lied to all of us. In the original documents, even if you read what we have, you should, like I did growing up, recognize that there are questions that need to be answered. There are problems with what we're being told versus what I read. There are direct contradictions. And there are other Mormons who have left the church because of this. Like over 10 million Mormons have left because of this. This is what's destroying the church. But they don't need us anymore. They've got their money now. And the interest alone makes up for what we would give them in tithing. <clears throat> so says the whistleblower. And so, I mean, no Mormon should ever be asking me for references. Where did you get this? What's your source? Oh my God! I get it from our scriptures. The second vision. Where is it? Oh, I don't know. Is it in the Old Testament? <laughs> I mean, seriously. You guys come off as dumb when you pull these kinds of questions because you've lived your life in a spiritual witness bubble. And the blatantly obvious that is right there in front of you, if you were to just read it, eludes you. You skip it because your spiritual witness is thinking about other things, your feelings, and what the church has indoctrinated you to interpret. When the English grammar and comprehension is blatantly in contrast to what they're telling you. This is a vision. It is not literal history. But you have to read. And so the church purposely selects portions of verses for you to memorize and learn and doesn't cover the context that it's a vision. The first vision, they had no choice. That's what it's called. But the second vision, did you not even think about it? If there's a first, that would suggest that there's other visions. I mean, seriously. This is exposing Mormons' illiteracy. And this ignorance that the church has taught Mormons to be is humiliating you. You're a mockery and a joke to the rest of the world. Like the other video I did. How's that one doing? Mormons mock Joseph Smith and his Christ misinterpreting his scriptures. 77 views in 19 hours. So yeah, that's higher than average. But it's not the over 600 in one day. But conference is coming and they're still coming in this is where I thrive and if Mormons can't figure it out for this conference I worry about you because again this is the bicentennial of the second vision you're going, yeah, and? Oh. What date was the second vision given as recorded by Joseph Smith? 22nd of September. It's 
repeated four times, and then he goes back once a year on the same date, four times. Two sets of four times on the 22nd of September. And this is the bicentennial year. September 22nd. Is it before conference or after conference in October? Yeah, this is the last conference before that day. And what did Joseph Smith warn about that day? What was the first quote from the Old Testament prophesying of the latter days? <sighs> the day that shall burn as an oven. That's why this conference is so important for me to reach Mormons. This is why I'm going on a full-on blitz for the last couple of months. Repeating and in different presentations the same type of material. So that if you don't watch the one, you'll watch the other. This is it. Because after conference, you don't search for conference anymore. And my views will tank again. I have to reach as many people, Mormons, as possible now. Because there might not be an October conference for you. And for me. And so just in case there isn't, I'm doing all I can for this one, hoping that Mormons will hearken to me. And again, if you don't even understand that, why aren't you reading? At least read. You do read, don't you? That is what you think. Read, ponder, pray, get a spiritual feeling. You now know everything. Reading? Or do you just read for a feeling, not for information? You don't actually memorize. Have they stopped memorization anymore? And so the church has a podcast for the Joseph Smith Papers. And they're focusing on church history in Kirtland, Ohio. And it's an opportunity for them to lie to you. Because you can see the Kirtland Papers for yourself. They won't tell you that Joseph Smith went to the Kirtland Temple, had his visions on the third day of Passover. Because they want you to think of Christian and Jesus, not Jewish and the Jewish Christ. The Book of Mormon, guys. Hello. First Nephi chapter 1 verse 2. Learning of the Jews. Not the Christians, not Buddhists, not Islam, not Hindu. Jews. And so you have to interpret the Book of Mormon with a Jewish understanding. Not a Christian. So when you see Jesus, you can't interpret him as Christians do. You have to interpret him as Jews would. And I'll give you a hint, he's not real. The Book of Mormon is not literal history. Because it's the understanding and learning of the Jews. It's the manner of prophecy, it is the Book of Revelation. And you missed it. When you read it over and over again, you missed it. <clears throat> and the church, if you hadn't noticed, won't reference it. No footnotes. They don't want you to know the learning of the Jews. Because that would destroy them. And so they need to milk you for all they can as well before that day comes. And so Renlin, he's fooling around in South America. 
this is how evil they are. Just leading third world countries astray. Giving them a false hope. Hoping to get as much money out of them as they can. It's just sick and wrong. Because if they're not true, they're not good. All you had to do was study. That's it. That's all you had to do. And you won't. And then you act surprised. Ask where I get this stuff from. You just expose yourselves as illiterate and ignorant. And it's sad. Because you don't know what's coming. Because you're not reading. You're not studying. You're just having happy, fuzzy feelings of happiness. And it blinds you to the truth about what the church has done to you. The lies they're telling you. And the destruction that awaits you.